most of us know the nightmares involved with um, emails and whether they've got spam in them or whether you're just receiving spam emails or whether you're receiving uh, proper and correct emails. However, we none of us know until we've opened them up and then we think, oh my God, that's my computer ruined for the next million years. Um, however, I have found a little program which will help us out on this because this will look at your emails prior to downloading them and just do several tests to find out whether or not they're spam or not. So, we shall go to the internet to find this uh, miracle of a program. Um, do a search for mail... Oh, try typing it correctly. Mail washer. And it will show us mailwasher.net which is this site here. It's very good. And we can have two versions. We've got a new version um if you buy the one you can if you download the one which is advertised here you'll end up having to pay money i believe about twenty dollars twenty five dollars uh, around about fifteen pound thereabouts or we can download it and we can download an old mail washer for free from filehippo.com so we'll do that because it won't cost us any money so off we toddle and it will tell us um, the program is downloading. It's only a small program so it's not going to take too long at all. 321 and bump that's it downloaded. Um, here's the file mail washer free setup 7.3.0 right so if I double click on the icon it will start the installation routine it will ask us if we want it in English or any one of half a dozen different languages um, we'll go for the next which will ask us about the license agreement um, plain and simple no hidden horribles in there um, we'll do a standard installation, although you can always remove it and put it back in again if you want to customize it a little bit. But I'd advise the standard installation first. Um, and we'll shoot off by doing the install. It doesn't take very long. And we can launch the mail washer. It will do a search to see if it can find any email accounts, but this one hasn't done so so far. So we'll cancel that. Um, when you go into the program, it will give you a very uh, very brief one minute long overview of the program. A little video demonstration that comes along with it. Um, we could watch that or not, whichever the case may be, but if you download the program, you'll get to see it anyway. It comes up automatically. So we need to um, so we need to run the program, um, and to do that we start off by going to the settings. Um, we need to add an email account. We're given an, a description, um, so we can put in there primary account and put in the email address. And we'll save that. It will then ask us for a password. And we put the password in. I shouldn't worry about whether you know whether or not it's a POP3 or an SMTP address, whatever it is. It will sort it out for you. So we can save that. Um, if we want to add another account, we can do. We can put that in as... account and the email address for that is that one there and we need to put a password in for that one remember what the password is lovely so we can then 
we've set those up we can then go and have a look at the inbox and get it to check the mail and it will check the mail there we have a load of emails that have come down from me various ones you can very simply put a click in and say that's spam um, There's uh, other ones you can put in as spam and you can say well these ones you can keep the one there from Brett which I haven't read yet I might add um, and this is the way you go on you go through your email once you've sorted out whether or not they're good or bad or whatever put a tick in the box and then it will as you close it will delete the uh, bad ones and it's as simple as that um, you can check up to uh, I think it's up to 10 email addresses with this we can wash the mail there it is that's all the bad guys gone um, so there we are so very brief demonstration I hope you've um, you give it a try and that um, it's something that you, you want and you can use in the future. So thank you very much for listening and I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration.